Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Weird and the Beyond. Tonight we are going to be talking about the Crystal Palace and the mysterious way it was built in six months and then taken back apart and rebuilt somewhere else. It was built for the World Fair guys in 1851. Built of iron and plate glass in 1851, designed by Joseph Haxton and built by Philip Johnson, it was 1,851 feet long with interior height of 128 feet, three times bigger than the St. Paul's Cathedral. It was built in Hyde Park, London, the house the Great World Fair of 1851. Over 14,000 folks from around the world gathered in a 990,000 square foot building. The cost of this building in today's money would roughly be $9.3 million. The 60,000 panes of glass was made by the Chance Brothers. The 990,000 square feet building was completed in 39 weeks. The, the inside exhibits was eight miles of tables. Amer American exhibits were fa false teeth, artificial legs, coats repeating pistols, Goodyear rubber goods, and chewing tobacco, and a McCormick Reaper. Popular British exhibits were included hydraulic presses, powerful steam engines, and automated cotton mule spinning machines. The expedition opened October 11th through October 15th. Thereafter, the building was taken down and moved to Sydenham Hill. Known as Penge Place, next to Sydenham Hill, it stood there from 1854 until it burnt down in 1936. But before we get there, for a number, number of years, the Crystal Palace held football games, a.k.a. soccer, and so many other things in sports. On December the 1st, 1936, it was destroyed by fire. The two towers that survived finally was demolished in 1941 to keep the German bombers from seeing them. Paxson, he also laid out many, many parks. He made all kinds of beautiful things. And inside, guys, I about forgot, they had something really, really cool. The dinosaurs. Oh, yes, they had dinosaurs. They was the creation of one of the best-known natural history sculptures of his time, Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins. It had two famous fountains, which it had many fountains, but the two famous fountains were designed by Raphael Monte. Just beautiful, beautiful fountains. So to sum things up, guys, it was a beautiful, beautiful building. It wasn't supposed to be, it was just built for temporary service, but they moved it, and they have got many, many years of enjoyment out of it. And then um, I had a little research, and I really couldn't find what caused the fire to make it burn down, but the only two things that stood after it burnt was the two towers on each end, which I'll show you. And um, they had to eventually tear them down in World War II so the German bombers wouldn't hit it. So we're going to watch a video, guys, um, about a little bit of the history of it. Maybe explain a little bit more than I can. There may be some names in it different because I've watched a few videos and Paxton wasn't even mentioned. And Johnson, was it Johnson? The builder? But anyway, I don't know. I, I've found this out in a lot of things you be researching things and it's like wikipedia say something and then video say something else so but let's um grab us something cool to drink and get us a little snack guys and let's sit here and enjoy this little video
Alright guys, I think it's pretty much just going to show a bunch of pictures. So, I wanted to show you all a little something on the dinosaur. They had. Before then, let's look at the towers when they tore them down, guys. Man, that was beautiful. Then in 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, <laughs> each floor would be a bedroom or a bathroom, would be awesome. Or live in the top, probably be pretty big at top. Wow. There it goes. Blaze, wasn't it? That was nineteen thirty six. I didn't know they had big fire lighters like that in thirty six. I guess they did. Melting glass, that got on you. Ugh. That's hot. That steel was burning. Makes you wonder how a steel structure and glass catches on fire, don't, doesn't it? Here's the dinosaurs, guys. The only thing to do would be to take them back and let them see for themselves. And the place you would take them would be the These were made for it when it first opened. Victorian London, the 
Gardens and the monsters are the playground of youngsters, and it's a wonderful place for fun and games. Hmm. That's cool. You go in them. guys i hope y'all enjoyed that the mysterious crystal palace it's just it's crazy guys how they build it so quick and then you know they just build it to tear it down in three days it's just crazy it boggles my mind so i think it very much earns the right to be here on the weird and beyond <laughs> all right guys until next week i'll see you right here redneck ways bye guys